Hi everyone, my name's Emma Akko and I'm the founder of Mama Luna Limited where I make bespoke handmade Yoni steam seats and I also use it as a platform to empower young girls and women on everything Yoni, womb and vagina health related. First of all, there's the word Yoni, which is Sanskrit for temple, gateway or portal and it's all encompassing of the womb, the ovaries and the vagina. So what is Yoni steaming? It's like steaming your face but instead for your Yoni area and the same way where yoni, um, steaming your face allows your pores to open, it relaxes your muscles, it detoxes your skin, allows fresh blood and oxygen and nutrients to circulate into your skin and muscles, it's the same exact thing for your yoni area. And there are so many benefits to it. So there's detoxing, um, it helps with painful cramps, it helps to regulate your men menstruation, it helps to make them a lot lighter, like, oh my God, a lot lighter and a lot less painful. Um, helps to break down things like fibroids, endometriosis, cysts. It helps with fertility, it helps with postpartum. It helps if you have um, maybe mild insomnia, anxiety, panic attacks, and just helps with overall relaxation. And it's amazing as well. So yeah that's yoni steaming again exactly the same as steaming your face but instead for our beautiful yoni areas it comes from south africa it started there about 2500 to 3000 years ago and traveled all the way throughout africa so in africa it's mainly done postpartum so yoni steam is great for helping to um, rejuvenate the womb which i can imagine most women who have given birth really appreciate <laughs> um, and then it's also done in Korea and Thailand but over there they call it chayok it's practiced in India where they call it yoni steaming and it's practiced in other parts of Europe as well where it's just known as womb steaming but the place where it's practiced the most in the world is Peru and other parts of Central Southern America and over there they call it bajos which is B-A-J-O-S bajos so that's where and how it's practiced around the world and hopefully in your home soon too. <laughs> okay, so these are my babies. So these are two out of five of the Mama Luna Yoni steam seats. So as you can see, they are both incredibly small. They are lightweight, like so lightweight, compact and incredibly easy to use. So they're made out of pine wood and then finished off with some linseed oil as, as a coating or a waxing, shall I say. Um, the bottom bit here, these are made from organic cotton and then even the African materials as well are made from organic cotton. So we've got the purple dashiki here. Isn't she beautiful? And then we have a Central African and Cara print as well. Isn't she beautiful too? Um, so yeah, I've got these here. On the website, we have an Aqua Dashi key. There's another Ankara print and there's a beautiful Kente print as well. So five for you to choose from. The compact, so when you go to use them, you don't need a lot of space to set up. When you're not using them, you don't need a lot of storage space for them. Or they're so beautifully decorated that you can leave them out. Great conversation starter. Easy to clean as well. So the, these come off from the actual seat and you can either hand wash those or put them on a hand wash cycle. And these bits down here, just put them on a regular whitewash. And that's it. So simple and easy the beautiful Mama Luna Yoni Steam Seats, my babies. Um, in terms of using it, again, so super easy. So you have your, it's best to put your herbs in something that's glass rather than metal or plastic because you don't want any of the metal or plastics to leak into the water and to have those go into your beautiful Yoni. Uh, uh, uh. So something that's glass. So I have glass bowls on my website as well that you can buy along with the Yoni Steam Seats. Um, you literally get your herbs, you fill it with hot water, put underneath your seat, et voila, queen, your throne is ready for you. Okay, so you've seen the actual Mama Luna Yoni steam seat, now here's how you use it. Wear a long dress or a long skirt, 
take off your underwear and make sure you're sat directly over the actual hole of the seat and exposed to it so that the steam can actually rise up through to your yoni. It's a really good idea to make sure you've got a really nice, warm, soft, snuggly blanket to pop around you. And that will help to keep the heat in as well. So literally just pop that blanket around you. If you're steaming for the first time, it's best to maybe do it for about 20 to 30 minutes. And if you're used to doing it, or maybe want to get back into the practice of it, you can do it for about 30 to 40 minutes. Maybe even add a bit more hot water to your herbal mixture. But this is it. Get comfortable on your throne. So 20 to 30 minutes is quite a lot of time to kill when you're sat on your throne. So here are a few things you can do while steaming. Journaling, that's a great way to record your thoughts or just release any energy whilst steaming. Or if you're a bit more into the creative side of things, you can always get a colouring in book and just do some colouring in. Or if you're into crystals, you can sit with your crystals and meditate. What can we put on a meditation track? Deep breathing is amazing to do whilst you're only steaming. So you can also beautify yourself whilst you're only steaming as well. So if doing face masks and steaming your face is your thing, then you can definitely beautify your face and steam your yoni at the same time as well. So yeah, it's always a good option. Yoni steaming is extremely relaxing. Not only does it relax all the muscles of your yoni, but it can actually rise, the heat can rise up and the steam all the way up to maybe sort of like, say your intestinal system and it completely relaxes your central nervous system as well. So it's best you just put your feet up and relax, which is what I'm gonna do right here now with my book. Ciao. Okay, so yoni steaming is best done in the evening or maybe on a day when you don't have anything planned because you really do need to let the herbs work in your body. So if you're not going to chill out and read a book, then you can also just go to bed, which is what I'm going to do. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it but most importantly i hope you found it very informative and educational if you do want to buy your very own mama luna yoni steam seat made by me then please go to www.mamaluna.bigcartel.com you'll also find me on etsy and shopify just type in mama luna yoni steaming and your and my shops will come up please also join in with the conversation on social media because that's where a lot of the empowerment and just exploration comes from as well and it's amazing because other women from around the world join in so on instagram that's at mama underscore luna yoni steam on facebook mama luna yoni steam on twitter that's mama luna yoni so please click on the links like 